everybody. My name is Jason, alias Agostino Tomaturgo, and welcome to this evening's class, an evening with Benedicaria. So I'm going to warn you, I have a, a lot of notes for tonight. You will see me looking back and forth to them. And I'm going to go ahead and just start, start off right with the question that should be asked first. What is Benedicaria? Benedicaria is the way of blessing or the craft of blessing. It comes from the Italian word benedire, to bless. Now, the word refers specifically to Southern Italian and Sicilian folk magic practices. There is a particular focus on healing. The practitioner is referred to as a benedetta if female, and if male, as a benedetto. Benedicaria is commonly associated with Catholicism. Most old school practitioners, they refer to themselves as Catholics. They see themselves as Catholics, oftentimes good Catholics. There are, however, neo-pagans who they may have been raised in, in Italian or Italian American families. They may have been raised around the practices associated with it, and they carry it into their new religion. In fact, when we look at the history of Benedictia, we could talk about how the um, we could talk about how changes in religion, changes in culture and stuff like that impacted the practice. So this is just an organic growth of the tradition. Now, what Benedict Gabriel is composed of is a combination of Catholic and pre-Christian practices that were found in the southern part of the Italian peninsula and on the island of Sicily. The pagan practices are probably best noticed in the actions and the remedies, while the Catholic elements are best noticed in the evocations and the sources for prayers that are used. In fact, during tonight's class, I want to, I'm going to use three main sources while we talk about this, all right? I'm going to list them in the order that they were published. The first is Vito Quattrochi's Sicilian Benedicaria, Magical Catholicism. It was originally titled Italian Benedicaria. Actually, he once sent me the first, the first manuscript that he ever made. It was eight and a half by 11, hand-drawn artwork, and it had like a comb binder like you'd find at Office Depot or Staples. I wish I could find my copy right now because I would be showing that on the screen. The second book is by yours truly, The Things We Do, Ways of the Holy Benedetta, written by me in 2007. Now, truth be told, I'm kind of sort of uncomfortable with this book, in some ways embarrassed, because it reflects who I was in 2007 and the world that we lived in in 2007. A very different cry from the person I am now and the world we live in now in 2020. However, a lot of the research in the book, it still stands, it's, it still stands up, it still stands the test of time. So I'm sticking with it until I write an update, which may be happening in the future. The third book, which was written in, which was published in 2018, is Italian Folk Magic by Grace Barron. Now, <coughs> The, now, I have known Grace for 15 years. We were both mods together on the Stregoneria Italiana website. I have known Vito for 18 years. So I know a few stories that either of them may or may not want me to tell you. Okay, so we've talked about what Benedicaria is. We've talked about the sources of Benedicaria. We've talked about the three, the three main books I'm using tonight as far as references. So, where did the word Benedicaria come from? Traditionally, there is no... 